Hello everyone, welcome back to another Practical 4 video, and I am back. In today's episode, we are actually going to teach you how to do programming. Well, a little bit of programming. This uh, series will be separated into two different parts. The first part will be in Scratch, and the second part will be in learning C++ with an IDE. Now, in this episode, we won't be actually programming. Instead, we'll be learning the basic lingo or the vocabulary most programmers use. I'm just going to open up my notepad here and I'm just going to show you a couple of uh, stuff. Okay, so first off let's start with the big one, programming. What is it? Programming is the process of creating a instruction for a computer to execute. Now, two words you may be a little bit cloudy about. Execute. We'll talk about that in a bit. Instruction. Yes, you are instructing the computer on what to do. And execute is simply running a program. If I opened up Mozilla Firefox, that would be executing a program. It's not killing a program. Killing a program is just really well. -y. It's it's called killing a program. Easy, right? So that's programming. Now we're going to get into program. What is a program? A list of instructions for a computer to execute. See how it, see how um, related these two are. This is a process, and this is just a list. So programming is literally just creating a program. All right. Next, we're gonna learn the next big word, which is whoop, syntax. And I've got a very good definition for this. Okay, all right, so I'm speaking English and you're probably compre comprehending me like so, but English is based on Latin. So if you're going to learn, for example, French or Italian, they would both, it'll be easier to learn because both English, French and Italian are all based in Latin language, such as the word Oh, I forgot it now. Anyway, if you're learning French, mo some of the words may sound and look exactly the same as English words. It's similar in syntax. We're going to learn the C syntax. So the C syntax... The C syntax is basically just like Latin. It's a big, broad umbrella. And if you know the C syntax, which I'm going to teach you, and you'll pick up yourself, you'll be able to um, pick up these languages with ease. All the languages based on the C syntax, you'll be able to learn in a snap. Now, that's the good thing about programming. Learning one language doesn't mean that you have to learn each individual uh, instruction for each other language. By learning one, which we're going to learn C++ and scratch. These both are based on the C syntax. So by learning these two, we will be able to jump onto Python or Java, C, C sharp, all those. Okay, so they're all based on the C syntax. So the C syntax is an umbrella term for like instructions. Okay, so for example, I'm going to give you a quick example here. In the C syntax, if and else do exits, all these are carried about into most of these languages. Python uses all that. It's very easy to understand. So now that you know what the syntax is, we are going to learn the final word for today's lesson, which is 
Drum roll, please. IDE. What is an IDE? An IDE stands for an Integrated Development Environment. Basically the place where you write the program. Oop, forgot the end there. Okay, so the IDE is what you use to create a program. The IDE itself is a program, and most of the IDEs you find on the internet are open source and free to download and use. Now, development. What is development? Development is simply developing a program, and that's the same word as programming, although developing is exactly the same, basically, just another word for program. So the integrated development environment is what you, we'll be, I'll be teaching you which one to use, how to use it, and all that. So that's basically what an IDE is. Okay. So, it's integrated. Now, if I was trying to write a program here, I could accept the good thing about having a um, IDE, such as code blocks, is that I'll be able to it'll be able to debug which is to look out for bugs in the program and tell me about them and also color it see all these if statements which you'll be learning in a couple of lessons lessons these are all colored so I'm, I'm e it's easy to comprehend and easy to understand okay so this is just a program I'll be teaching you and how to write them in about 10 episodes or so but yeah, so going back to IDE, that's basically it. That's what an IDE is, a place to write your programs. Of course, you could if you really felt compelled to write it in a notepad document, which I don't recommend. So that's it for the vocabulary. School's over, as I say. Now you can uh, have a break, I guess, because you need to have these terms ready for your next lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to learn how to use our very first program called Scratch. Before I go, I'd just like to say thank you for clicking onto this video and this course will be very good for you in future if you wish to develop software or just wish to have programming under your belt. It's a very good skill to have. Thank you for trying this. I hope you enjoyed the next video. Bye bye.